Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon and we're changing everything. No, <laughs> not really. We're, uh, we're actually going to go back to Patreon. I'm not even kidding. Uh, I know I've been very critical of Patreon for the last uh, couple of years now, but I'm, I'm looking at kind of the landscape of where things are at and where Patreon is at right now. And I'm kind of thinking that to do what we want to do going forward, which is make more podcasts and, you know, ramp up our, our presence on our, our websites uh, and actually provide people with a kind of a throwback to to old school nerd sites that we're probably going to have to do something like that because the ad revenue is not there to support it. And, uh, you know, it's just kind of a, a, a we're in a weird place right now with the Internet where everything is basically pay to play. And, uh, you know, unfortunately, um, that includes content creators, right? And if you want to do something different, you usually have to sell it, which, you know, you're selling something like a, you know, a crowdfunder or a Kickstarter or something like that, or you have to go out there and, you know, beg for tips or chats or whatever. And th that's not what we do. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. I want to be very clear because I, you know, do know a lot of YouTubers do very well with that, but we don't do live streams. So we don't do super chats. Uh, we do occasional crowd funders, uh, not a ton, you know, maybe one a year, one every other year. This year we might have like two, but again, most of that money goes back into uh, creating projects. So, you know, what's always been kind of near and dear to me anyway, and, and to to us, I guess, uh, you know, as a couple is is kind of, you know, going back to the roots of like nerd culture on the internet and, and doing more, um, you know, in that space kind of retro. So I've actually re skinned the uh, clownfish tv.com website and, uh, we're going to try to just go back to doing like nerd news from, uh, you know, years ago. I mean, we're still going to have our videos. We're still going to have our occasional hot takes or whatever, but, but like, you know, I want to just cover nerd news like it used to be. Uh, go out to, you know, IGN from, this is 1999, right? There, do you see any political articles on here? No, you don't. Do you see anybody calling uh, gamers toxic? No, you don't, because gamers uh, gamers pay the bills. And back then you could, you know, with the ad revenue or whatever. But uh, yeah, we're kind of expanding. We're expanding everything. And this is going to be kind of a rambling episode, I think. If you guys aren't interested, that's fine. Uh, you can dip out uh, for sure. But yeah, we're doing more podcasts now. I'd like to do even more podcast episodes than we already are. We've got D-Res. We've got the uh, the audio version of Clownfish TV out there. And I'm basically just trying to look at, you know, life beyond YouTube because I think there is going to come a time uh, when YouTube is not going to be viable anymore. Um, and I don't know if Patreon long-term is the solution, but I know that uh, we do have a tip jar set through donor box. And I, I mean, I really appreciate you guys donating. If you already have, I just don't think it's, it works that well because I, I can't really reciprocate with any content. Like it's really hard to post over there. And I think they're getting bought by Salesforce. Um, and I'm looking at it. I'm like, yeah, Patreon is frankly, it's the best thing going right now. And, uh, you know, through Patreon, we can do, you know, exclusive content. We can have a community over there. We can do kind of all the things we wanted to do kind of on our own, but we can do it there. Now, why have I changed my mind on Patreon? Well, I know some people have had problems with Patreon. I know they've had censorship with Patreon. I know that, uh, you know, they tend to get nosy when it comes to certain kinds of art. We're not in danger of doing any of that stuff. So I, I don't think it's going to be a problem for us. And honestly, the woman that was in charge of that is gone. Uh, that's actually what kind of changed my mind on it was I, I went out to LinkedIn and the woman who was the, uh, the one who was in charge of, I guess the deplatforming of like Sargon and some other conservatives, she's not there anymore. And if you go out to some of their top podcasts, there's actually some pretty spicy stuff on their plot. I'm just saying there's some spicy stuff on their platform. And I'm like, well, if they let these guys on here, now, I'm not going to single anybody out because I don't want anybody to get brigaded. But uh, if they're letting these guys on here, they'll probably let us on here, too. And I don't think we have we're in any danger at all. I mean, even as far as, 
I don't know what you want to call us, uh, you know, unwoke content creators go, we're incredibly mild. So, but I know not everybody's on board with Patreon. I know some people really have a problem with Patreon. I know, uh, Ethan Van Skyver apparently had a problem with Patreon last year. Um, and that's, that's totally fine. You know, I mean, if you guys don't want to support that, I'm, I'm not holding a gun to your head. I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm just saying, this is what I think we're going to do. This is probably the best uh, move. I've tried doing things through YouTube. I've tried doing it on our own. It's just not working. And I want to, I want to keep the websites going. I want to make podcasts. I want to actually be able to maybe free up some time to do some other creative stuff that we can share with you guys. But, uh, yeah, uh, in lieu of giving us constant super chats, uh, in lieu of us constantly rattling the tin cup, if you want to go out to patreon.com backslash clownfish TV, uh, we got some different tiers and these are the same tiers that we have on the, uh, the donor box, which I think I'm going to deprecate in a day or two and just tell people like, Hey, if you want to move over there, it's really appreciated guys, uh, for sure. And I don't know what we're going to do yet. I've been talking to geeky and I think, you know, we can definitely do exclusive podcasts, which I did not know you could do on Patreon. Cause we haven't been on Patreon for like six years. I'm not even kidding. Like since like the very beginning of the channel. And then the censorship crackdown happened and I was like, oh, hell no, I don't want to do this. And I'm still not 100% convinced that Patreon long term is going to be viable, but they do have some new features. They do seem to be doing better. And it seems like they've knocked off a lot of the censorship stuff that they're letting people just kind of handle their own communities. So, I mean, there's that. But yeah, we can do some, you know, exclusive uh podcasts. Um, we're talking maybe posting some exclusive comics content. Uh, we're going to have a private community. We, we had a discord at one time. We let it go because I couldn't babysit it. But, um, you know, I, I would prefer to do it here where we can kind of have, you know, I, I guess a more intimate, uh, intimate, that sounds dirty, intimate gathering, right? We can just have the people that are actually interested in, in talking to us and you might not be interested to talk to us. That's fine. That's fine. It's all fine. But yeah, mostly um, I think we're going to use uh, the funds to basically just bankroll more website content, more web content, more comics content, more podcast content, uh, because it's getting really dicey. I, I'm going to tell you, we've been covering this and I have never seen anything like it in the 20 years that I've been creating content online that the ad, it's not just the ad revenue drying up. It's search itself uh, drying up. In fact, I saw somebody yesterday talking, and this was a journalist or something, and they were talking about how Google isn't even really a search engine anymore. It, it's basically you know, a publisher, which we've talked about. And it's going to get harder and harder to get our stuff out there to communicate with people. And you know, I don't, I'm going to be honest. I don't know what the future of YouTube is even. I mean, I used to be more sure about stuff, but like everything has changed so much in the last six months, eight months that I don't think anybody can definitively say, yeah, I'm going to stay on YouTube for the next 10 years and I'm going to be a, and I'm going to start this and I'm going to start that. And I'm definitely going to do this. And I'm definitely going to do that. And we're going to run our websites where nobody knows. The only thing I do know is that if we build a community that can exist hopefully outside of that bubble that we can keep on making content uh, for you guys. We can keep on doing this kind of stuff. And right now I know I've got people watching this being like, well, I hope you dry up and die clownfish. Well, that's not going to happen. Trust me. I got, I got lots of work experience. I can always go back to something else. And look, the channel is not in trouble uh, at all. Actually our numbers, we had a couple of really good months with subscribers and uh, you know, everything is, is, pretty copacetic on that front. I'm just concerned about the future and I'm concerned that, you know, you're, it's going to be harder and harder for you guys to find us, you know, and, uh, you know, we want to be found. Um, but it does seem like, you know, at least having some kind of a community like Patreon for now, uh, is definitely the best way to go. Cause again, we can easily post stuff and talk to you guys and, uh, build a mailing list. So even if, even if Patreon crashes and burns, which is possible, 
we have the mailing list. We can we can do email. We can do something. Yeah, we can keep in touch. Even if you can't find our website anymore, you can't find our videos or podcasts anymore, we can still keep in touch through the emails, um, you know, building that community that way. But yeah, it's, it's just a weird time, man. It is just such a weird time. And I just want to roll things back. Yeah, that's always been our intention with the channel. Like we never really intended to get that political. Uh, we still don't get that political, you know, and again, everybody can talk about whatever the hell they want to talk about. I don't care, but our goal has always been to just kind of roll, uh, roll the internet back a little bit. And, um, you know, I, I think that, uh, you know, even though you'll still get our opinions and our, uh, you know, hot takes or whatever on stuff here and there on the clownfish channel on podcasts or whatever, like the website, other than my personal blog, uh, you know, I think we just kind of want to cover nerd shit and talk about cool shit and maybe do it with a, a sense of humor because we don't have that anymore. Like nobody's funny anymore. Like nobody's, everybody's afraid to be funny. Even people that are kind of like, you know, self-described culture warriors, like everybody's lost their sense of humor. Everybody's like, it's so deathly serious. It's like, come on, we're talking about fucking, Skeletor and Optimus Prime. Why are we so serious about all this shit all of a sudden? But um, yeah, so check out the site. Go out to clownfishtv.com if you guys want to help us grow. Um, you know, go out to Patreon backslash clownfish TV. Uh, you know, it just it seems to be the best way forward. Like, I don't, I mean, I look, I'm at a loss here. Like, I don't have another solution, guys. I'm, I'm like looking at like people are like, well, go to locals, go to subscribe star. I'm like, I don't know if they're going to be around, but Patreon's been around for 10 years. You know, and it looks like they're doing pretty okay. Yeah, I could be wrong. Six months from now, they could blow up. Who the hell knows? Nobody knows anything. There is no certainty on the internet anymore. And I've been doing this a long time. So that's why we're doing it. Uh, just to try to hopefully keep everything intact, keep you guys uh, posted, you know, and, and aware of what we're doing. And we greatly appreciate the support always uh, when you guys buy stuff. Um, you know, even just watching our videos. You know, if you can't buy anything, just watching our stuff and uh, promoting our stuff and uh you know those of you who are donating to the donor box which i'm gonna shut down i will reach out to you and uh, you know ask you politely thank you and ask you to migrate to patreon if you want to and again if you don't want to that's entirely up to you i'm not begging i'm just saying want to keep bringing this stuff that's what we're gonna do so i'm gonna wrap this one up guys uh please subscribe to the channel for more pop culture news views and rants and we'll talk later <laughs>